Hey everyone, and welcome to the third video of the mini-series where we take a look at Sonne Cartel's practice session at Wimbledon. If you haven't seen the first two, take a look in the description below where I've left the links, as these two videos will put this third one into a little bit more context. I've broken the hour session down into 15 minute chunks, this one being the third. And if you take a look at the last two, you'll notice that the first 30 minutes of the session were purely about getting lots of volume on the grass, as Sonne wanted to feel really confident going into her first round match on Tuesday. In this video, her coach Ben sets up some competitive point play situations for Sonne to really get stuck into grass court tennis. Let's check it out. Okay, have to go line ball one, yeah? Have to go line ball one, however I play it to you. So right now we're about 30 minutes into Sonne's session and Ben has started a new drill where he feeds Sonne a random ball and she has to play aggressively down the line to start the point. You'll see that this drill is far more suited to grass court tennis as Sonne's mission was to keep the points nice and short. You'll notice, just like in the previous two videos, anytime Sonne hits a bad shot, Ben will give her the same ball so that Sonne could make improvements. Any technical input from Ben at this stage would be very minimal and very simple. Just a few words of encouragement and maybe a few things reinforcing what they'd worked on in the past. Get to it, peel off it, yeah? Get to it, peel off it. Get to it fast and then work the feet. Little adjustment step. Get to it, peel off it. Ben and Sonne know each other really well as they've been working together for over 12 years. With this in mind, Ben knows exactly how to get the most out of Sonne during her practice sessions and he noticed that she was starting to tire during this drill as she'd been hitting two on one for over 30 minutes now, non-stop. This is where Ben changed the drill up to give her something different to focus on and to give her legs a little bit of a break. The way that this game worked, it was still competitive. Ben would feed in a short ball to Sonne where she were to hit a drop shot. Now, again, Tiana and I were to play two points on, two points off, but we would face with our back to the court, stood behind the baseline, making it really difficult for us to read Sonne's drop shot. Ben actually had this game planned for Sonne to do all the running, but due to her legs being tired, he thought that she'd benefit even more from practicing her drop shots. So unfortunately, me and Tiana had to do the running. After a short tie break on the forehand side, we did the same thing for Sonny's backhand drop shot, but she wasn't too happy with Tiananmen's starting position. So Ben introduced the bum to bum rule, blocking off Tiananmen and I until we were allowed to run. Do I have a, 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 at least a little? You know, inside the baseline, pretty much. I'll say later. <laughs> As you can see, Sonne's drop shots got better as Tiana and I got more and more tired. 
we put her under less time pressure, which allowed her to hit a more sensible drop shot. Whereas on the forehand side, she was having to go for some ridiculously good hands, which in the end resulted in a few shots going into the net. As you can see, this drill gave Sonne lots of energy as it was super fun and super competitive. Hitting drop shots on grass is super effective as naturally on grass the ball doesn't bounce up as high, but even less so in the service boxes where the grass is slightly softer. This is due to having less impact and less players running around on that part of the court. You can see here that right at the end of this tiebreak, things got super fun. Oh, no. <laughs> <to> run. So now we're 45 minutes into Sonny's hour long session. So we've got 15 minutes left, which I will be sharing with you in the next video. In this video, we're gonna be looking at Sonny's volleys, overhead serves, and some open point play that she plays with Tianan, which unfortunately ends badly. So check that one out to find out what happens. If you've got any questions about Sonny's practice session, let me know in the comments below. And like I said before, either I'll get back to you or Ben will. Thanks as always for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel and hit that like button. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.